Hey there, Coastal Bend. We are dry out there this morning. 35 is our dew point temperature, the temperature of the water in the air. That is so low. Typically, we're at that sticky level and down at 35 means we've got some pretty dry air across the region. Here's why we're dealing with these drier airs. Typically, we're used to that humid air because we have our wind coming out of the southeast. These are our winds out of the west and northwest. We rarely see those winds. In fact, our prevailing wind, again, that's out of the southeast. That happens about 108 days a year. Westerly winds are about 12 days. Today, we are looking at those westerly winds. Do it part to high pressure off to the west bringing in that dry air out of West Texas into our region. However, as we head into the weekend, we're going to see that high shift back offshore. And when that happens, we get southeast flow returning and those sticky conditions will be back in the region. Dew points continue to stay at the sticky level as we look ahead into next week. Thank you very much, Carly. Calling on President Biden to lift public transportation mess requirements. That's right, the major airlines lining up for the change. The evidence they are citing is it too soon given a wave of surging in other parts of the world. Sure are a lot of different drivers out there. And at AutoNation Ford, we're here for every single one of them. Get friends and neighbors pricing on all pre-orders, plus $1,000 bonus cash. What drives you drives us. AutoNation Ford. Your tax dollars go further at iMart Express. Two pairs starting under $40. Spend less on the have-tos, keep more for the want-tos. Huge selection, low prices, same-day speed. Save big in no time at iMart Express. The COVID-19 vaccines are here. These are the facts you need to know. The vaccines are proven to be safe and effective. The side effects are relatively minor and could include arm pain, fatigue, and a low-grade fever. COVID-19 vaccines protect you and the ones that you love. Coastal Bend Wellness can provide you with your vaccine. Do your part. Get the shot. Make an appointment today. Coastal Bend Wellness Foundation, your community health center. I was at a complete stop in traffic when I was suddenly rear-ended. I injured my neck and lower back, shoulder, hips, and arms. I knew I had to call the Ford. Jeff and his team took care of everything. They made sure that my medical and rehabilitation bills were paid and that I got the large cash settlement that I deserve. It's really true. When you call the Ford, the Fours are with you. So if you've been injured in a car, truck wreck, call my Corpus Christi office at 361-444-4444. There's only one number to remember, and that's four. How do we make your glasses the same day? It's all done in store. Our skilled techs handle your glasses from start to finish, getting them back the same day. Quality, affordable glasses made in store only at iMart Express. At AutoNation Ford, we're here for every type of driver out there. Get F-150s with 0% financing for 60 months, plus an extra $2,500 off when you pre-order during truck month at AutoNation Ford. Oh, this started out as a simple car accident. Now you two are back together. How far we've come. Big Sky, new tonight on ABC and stream on Hulu. Join KIII TV as we salute the U.S. Navy Blue Angels. Get ready for the Wings Over South Texas Air Show at NAS Kingsville, April 2nd and 3rd. Free general admission, free parking, and fun for the whole family. Premium tickets on sale now. You're watching the South Texas News Leader. This is 3 News First Edition. Looking to vaccinate babies on up. The information Moderna says it has that should convince the FDA to approve their life-saving shot against COVID. Plus the sheer number of cases of fentanyl drugs that seized on our streets, the alarming stats, and why doctors and law enforcement are worried. And raising the bar, meet the coast of been champ lifting her weight into the history books, how she is representing young women everywhere. But first, representing meteorologists everywhere right now is their very own Carly Smith. Carly, good morning. Yes, good morning. Temperatures are on the chilly side. Typically, we see a low around 60 degrees on March 24th. Today, it's 49 degrees at 631 in Corpus Christi, 47 in Robstown, 42 in Mathis, and 43 in Beeville. Taking a look outside there on our Lex Cam, 
We're just barely starting to see some twilight along the horizon, and we also are seeing some of the lights there through Portland and into Ingleside. 49 degrees will be your temperature through about 8 a.m. Then we are going to start to heat things up to a high today around 80 degrees. RB. Thank you, Carly. First edition begins this half hour following the news. And Moderna says its COVID vaccine works for children younger than six. Early data shows after the two small dose shots, children developed antibody levels as strong as young adults who had regular strength shots. Moderna plans to submit data to U.S. regulators in the coming weeks and ask for approval to use the vaccine on all kids, babies through teens. That means babies and young children could be vaccinated against COVID by summer. If approved, it would be the first vaccine for kids under five. First edition does continue to track the latest COVID numbers here in the coastal bend. 36 new cases were reported in Oasis County yesterday. There were no COVID related deaths. 26 people are currently in the hospital with five in the ICU. CEOs from all major US airlines are calling on President Biden to lift the federal mask mandate on public transportation. American Delta and United Airline say current restrictions such as international pre departure testing requirements and the federal mask mandate no longer align with the realities of the current environment. The group cited increased vaccination rates and the lifting of restrictions in other countries as reasons to do away with COVID era policies. The number of daily new COVID cases is still declining in the U.S., but there is concern the Omicron variant could lead to a surge again. Reporter Brandon Lewis with our Verified team explains how stealth Omicron works and if it is in the U.S. Over the winter, we saw what the Omicron variant of COVID-19 can do. Now, there are claims that a new sub-variant of Omicron is circulating in the U.S. and could send case numbers spiking again. It's called BA2, but is more commonly called stealth Omicron because of some genetic mutations that allow it to evade sequencing, meaning it's harder for researchers to track its spread compared to other variants. So let's verify. Have stealth Omicron cases been reported in the US? Our sources are the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the White House, Dr. Pyle Coley, a clinical professor of medicine at the University of Colorado, and Dr. Sarah Lynn Mark, the former senior medical advisor to NASA and the Obama White House. Last month, the WHO said it considered Stealth Omicron a variant of concern because it's 50% more transmissible than the original Omicron and quickly became the dominant strain in parts of Europe. I wouldn't be surprised if we do see another surge. Uh, we're looking at what's happening in England and generally we're about four weeks or so behind England. The White House says there are more than 30,000 cases of Stealth Omicron already in the U.S. And the CDC estimates it makes up about a quarter of all COVID-19 cases reported during the first full week of March. Although there may be more unreported cases. But because of that recent Omicron surge, a lot of us have immunity either through vaccination or through natural infection. And we do know that there's cross protection with that immunity. So I think in the immediate present, BA2 is less of a concern. So yes, stealth Omicron cases have been reported in the US. So far, medical experts say it's too soon to know whether it's more severe than the original Omicron variant, but early data shows vaccines offer the same level of protection. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. Over at the Ortiz Center, doctors are calling uh, to action a new uh, better mental health that includes conversations among mental health professionals and leaders to discuss behavioral needs. The goal was to connect panelists and attendees to discuss the various resources available to them here in the Coastal Bend and online. Our uh, counselors and uh, the, some physicians and uh, um, and, uh, and licensed professional counselors and people here that are that are interested in providing mental health services of all kinds uh, and to try and improve the access. The event was led by Leadership Corpus Christi Class 50, Coastal Bend Wellness Foundation and Coastal South AHEC. A free two day conference taking aim at reducing substance abuse in Texas is starting today. Yeah, the Texas Substance Use uh, Symposium is a statewide conference focused on reducing the burden of substance use in the state, inviting local, state, and national speakers from a variety of backgrounds to lend their expertise. 
It is taking place over at the Omni downtown today and tomorrow. To register for the event, we'll have a link on our website at KTLITV.com. This comes as substance use and fatal overdoses are worsening as a result of the pandemic. According to CDC, more than 4,000 people died of drug overdoses in 2020 in the state. In Corpus Christi, DEA officials seized 6.7 kilograms of fentanyl in 2020. Last year, 32.15 kilograms were seized. DEA officials say that means fentanyl seizures in increased 380% in just one year. The Texas Supreme Court is considering multiple cases focused on elections in our state, specifically gerrymandering. The court heard arguments challenging the state's new redistricting maps. The Mexican-American Legislative Caucus argued that lawmakers violated the Constitution when they split Cameron County into different House districts. The justices will decide if a lower court has the authority to rule in this case. This is just one of several lawsuits that allege the new maps discriminate against voters of color by splitting up communities. The court also is set to hear part of Senate Bill 1. The law makes it illegal for election officials to send out unsolicited mail-in ballot applications. Oral arguments are scheduled for May 11th in that case. Democrats are blasting some Republicans for the questions they raised during the marathon confirmation hearings for Supreme Court nominee Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. Republican senators accused Jackson of being soft on sex offenders and child porn cases when she was a district judge, despite fact checkers finding the terms Jackson handed down were within the norms of federal guidelines. I've taken every case seriously. These are Could you very you say about the horrible I'm asking you crimes. About Jackson also sparred with a Republican Senator John Cornyn on abortion. If Democrats stay united, and it is expected they will, they will not need a single Republican vote to confirm her. A vote is expected on her nomination early next month. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick announced new interim assignments for multiple Senate committees, which include the appointment of Senator Juan Chuy Hinojosa as vice chair of the Senate Finance Committee. Senator Hinojosa issued, issued a statement saying, I look forward to rejoining this committee and working with Chair Joan Huffman and the committee members to meet the financial needs of our state while keeping taxes low to benefit our Texas families and ensure our state's continued prosperity. There is a high school Lure and Freer, who has a lot of people sitting up and taking notice of her athletic prowess. Daphne Lehman just became the Class 2A state champion in powerlifting. Lehman is at the talk of the high school, whether she is in the lunchroom, meeting with her friends, or walking to class. Everyone knows who she is and what she has done. Her coach has trained powerlifters for roughly 25 years and even a few state champs. He believes Lehman truly has the heart of a champion. Daphne's all about goals. Daphne's all about breaking records and she's all about doing the impossible. Get this, there is a possibility this young powerlifter could repeat as state champ next year because she is only a junior. All of Lehman's hard work in their weight room could pay off soon and she currently has a number of scholarships offers from a variety of colleges. I'm sure she does. Mm -hmm. March Madness Fund is coming to the Alamo City starting today. Two Sweet 16 games are happening inside the AT&T Center. The first tip off is at 629 Villanova taking on Michigan. Then Arizona takes on Houston. That game starts at 9. The winners of the games will play Saturday in the Elite Eight. Meeting real life heroes in the skies and here on the ground. Uh, you can visit with pilots with the Blue Angels here in South Texas. The opportunity you have to nominate a medical member of the military for a top honor. Those details coming up. But first, this week's three star teacher. The time to present our next three-star teacher for this week is here. Meet Danette Grant. She's a fifth grade teacher at Galvan Elementary. She graduated from Texas A&M University of Corpus Christi and teaches science. Her special honors include winning numerous awards for drill team and being nominated for teacher of the year. Danette says that all the time that she makes class exciting for her students learning about science and special activities she shares on Facebook is what helps her care about what and why they're learning. Her main hobbies include making creative t-shirts, coaching, kickball, and she loves to dance. A Cage for Life First Edition congratulations to Danette Grant, our three-star teacher for this week. Three News is sending a special gift pack from our sponsors recognizing a job well done. To nominate a special teacher, just go to cageforlifetv.com slash nominate and register. Then watch every Thursday right here on Three News First Edition for winner announcements through April 28th. 
smarter way to market your business is with KIIII Digital Services. Contact us today. Company vehicles cause serious and deadly accidents on our roadways every year. Call today. Thomas J. Henry is available 24-7, nights and weekends. A beautiful lawn and garden starts at Sutherland. Take home a 10-inch braided hibiscus for only $22.99. Grab a bag of miracle Grow premium potting mix for only $12.99. Trim hedges and branches with a three-piece pruner set for only $19.99. And get heavy-duty contractor trash bags for only $9.99. Plus, take 50% off all in-stock trees and shrubs. This weekend only, while supplies last. Helping you build it better since 1917. Only at Sutherland's. Every day is the main event at Bravo Nissan. And you're the star with zero down, zero payments for 90 days, and oil changes for life. We're coming out swinging to get you amazing deals. Who are we? Bravo! Sexy Gun Show! The Saxon Gun Show is coming this weekend to the Richard and Borchard Regional Fairground in Robstown. Two full days of guns, ammo, knives, military, and more. The Saxon Gun Show, celebrating over 35 years of being the landmark gun and outdoor product show in South and Central Texas. And this weekend in Robstown will be one of our best shows ever. With something for everyone in the family to enjoy. Make plans now to hit the Saxon Gun Show this weekend at the Richard and Borchard Regional Fairground in Robstown. Hey, we got this and a whole lot more at the Saxon Gun Show this weekend. Come on down, you'll love it. Call today. Thomas J. Henry is available 24-7, nights and weekends. Three-star teacher recognition is sponsored by Church's Chicken, bringing that down-home flavor for seven decades. And by the Corpus Christi Athletic Club, stronger than yesterday. The seven-day weather forecast is sponsored by NEC Co-op Energy. Fire danger, a concern across the coastal bend, especially today because our relative humidity levels will be 5 to 15% in the afternoon. High temperatures are on the warm side, 74 to 85 degrees. Winds will be out of the southwest, shifting to the northwest. Shifting winds never a good thing when it comes to battling fires. Hopefully we don't get any started, uh, but if a fire does start, gust up to 35 miles per hour, also not good. Fire weather warning, the red flag warning is in place from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Today, also those winds will create hazards for small crafts out in our bays and coastal waters. So a small craft advisory is in place from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. today. Here's a look at your wind forecast. We keep it fairly breezy today with that northwest afternoon wind 10 to 25 miles per hour gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Friday, we see the wind shifting back out of the southeast 5 to 15 miles per hour, 10 to 20 miles per hour there on Saturday. Here's the deal. We've got drier in West Texas making its way into the coastal bend today. So our conditions are in that perfect to dry condition level, I guess you would say in terms of humidity, what it will feel like out there. We are going to start to see sticky conditions return as we head into the weekend and especially into Monday. We start to see that moisture increasing across East Texas. By Tuesday, we'll be seeing some showers developing, cloud coverage increasing over the weekend. And then you see those showers beginning to develop and impact North Texas, East Texas. There's a slim chance for some rain Tuesday into Wednesday here in the coastal bend. But again, most of that activity does look to stay off into East Texas. Right Right now, dry conditions and your wind is out of the southwest at 9 miles per hour. It does feel like it's 45 degrees due to that wind. Your actual temperature in Corpus Christi is 49. Here's a look at your day planner. We will see those wind gusts mostly this afternoon up to 30 miles per hour and we are off to a chilly start. 46 degrees through 7 a.m. And then we are going to see temperatures in the mid 70s to around 80 degrees this afternoon with a lot of sunshine here in the region. A look at your seven day forecast. We are going to see those gusty winds on your Thursday. Uh, I think Friday will make a great beach day. Look at that high 85 degrees. We do start to see the wind shifting back out of the southeast. Uh, but it won't be too bad. We keep the winds on the lighter side on Friday, but it is a chilly start 48 degrees. We see our temperature 54 degrees. So once we get more humidity our low temperatures start to go back up, they won't be quite as cold. That normal low is 60 degrees. We will see a little bit of cloud coverage over the weekend, but still mostly sunny skies. Enjoy a fabulous weekend. 
because by Monday we see gusty conditions returning, humidity levels continue to rise, and then we see that low chance of rain and possibly a thunderstorm by next Wednesday.